Uh, should I make an auto line bluff here? He's limping. Ace is king. King King is jamming pre nine to ten big blind, so it's like four eight suited, four five suited, three five suited. I think it's those hands quite often the way people are playing it. It's out of line, but. And open the king, jack, and clubs. We check back the flop. It's a pretty bad flop. <sighs> we have here, now we have the jack four. Um, that's interesting. We don't have a lot of perceived like king queens, king drags. We can have pocket eight, seven eight, nine eight. I actually think I want to be bluffing here. <clears throat> we block jack eight, that can go for a check race. Can't really think of a weaker holding. Queen jack with a lot of backdoors, we probably only start betting the Flop, I don't have queen jack spades, I don't have queen jack diamonds. Yeah, so we're essentially betting two pair, something like 10-9, 10-7 suited, which we can all have. And a7 suited, I'm just gonna reshuffle, button versus cutoff. It's really hard to bluff this spot, as, as I said. Like, even some king jack with king or well, king queen with back doors, we're gonna start betting. And we just go in here, these jacks suited. I raised this guy here, but I mean bounty tournament, 30 big blinds. I'm definitely not going to be falling. Even though it looks really strong. But I can see people overplaying drags and 10. I mean, it's not really an overplay here with drags or 10s, but like... <clears throat> Queen. Uh, also interesting spot here. We jams 28 bigs. Once there's another caller, I can definitely also see him uh, reshoving. Ace jack, king queen suited. So I'm definitely going to be calling this here. <clears throat> Especially against the button flat where his range is really wide. I don't think we can ever afford ace queen here. Even though I'm not loving life in this bond. Yeah. Uh. least have jacks or tens you know um, I don't I really would like to know what population is doing on average there with ace jack are they flatting ace jack what are they doing with ace 10 suited what are they doing with king queen suited I mean interesting oh my god he opens um, C bets the flop we call you over bet jams the turn but I think with all the equity we have uh, I'm just gonna be calling and uh, yeah, even if he has king jack, we have so much equity. Um, and you can still have a uh, you can still have a nut flush draw, ace jack, ace ten, and spades, which we don't block. So yeah, I don't think that we can have a fold here. A six that is looking good for us. That's. Uh, Straight. <clears throat> well, I think first in with Ford equity, you're probably going to be jamming this. I mean, I'm literally even with, and uh, now I'm the shortest deck. Yeah, I have to jam this now. Oh my god. 
We are bubbling this one. GG. So we bubbled the 2.6k. Two, two and okay, it's not we didn't bubble the 5k, but it was also pretty close to the money. Thank you so much, Discords. Appreciate it. Flooding Ace Queen against Mike Watson. Oops. Ah, the Jack is really bad. Because Jack's an ace, Jack is in his check calling range, but there's still gonna be ace five suited, ace nine suited. So I'm gonna go for another large bet here. But I'm probably not gonna be jamming the river anymore. Nolan, we call it. That is not going to help him. Reshoving here for a bounty a7 suited into aces, I guess. No kings. Well, we have him covered, so for us, even if you get it in with 60, uh, 30, 35%, it's, it's not too bad. But we can't win this one. Wop. I think I'm gonna go for a check race here. I fled from the small blind. Uh, okay, now we have enough shot on value. Maybe we even check raise this on the river if they bet large because we can still have queen jack. We have like seven eight spades, seven six spades, queen ten spades. It's 
Patrick bets, it gets very interesting. But they can't. He can't. He cannot have king queen spades. He can't have king ten spades. Uh, he can only have like a low flush. I might check jam this on the river. Damn it! He didn't want to bet his ace. <laughs> he was probably feeling it. Ah, Sam, bet, bet your ace. <laughs> ah, too bad. Yeah, uh, squeezing preflop would have been fine as well. There, to be honest. Do we have forward equity if we jam? Actually, we have. I think I'm gonna fall by jam against this a specific opponent with this hand. Good luck, us. And we are three betting queens here. <laughs> I check back the flop on this board, which I actually sometimes want to do because it doesn't really connect with my flooding range. And can't be too bad to have these hands in your check back range occasionally as well. <laughs> you must be kidding me. Uh, good that he opens the seven five. Okay, this guy seems to be crazy. Crazy dude. Even ten eight is in his range. Uh, I open ace king. Yeah, we go for three streets. Also, board. Let's say if I have king jack jack ten, that I want to be barreling quite, quite aggressively. Uh, 
and we lose with ace 10 against queen deuce and queen what both have queen deuce how can you, you can't get it in better right oh, that's very unfortunate ah, so be it um <clears throat> so yeah we go all in ace jack ace 10 a lot of weak ace x we block king x and clubs which is good Makes it less likely that he had a flush draw. A, the deuce is also great. Makes it less likely he has ace deuce. Maybe he had something like queen jack, queen ten in clubs if he's not forced like that. Uh, ace king suited. We're going to be min race calling. <clears throat> Good spot here, we check it to the river and we go for a check race. And Sam Dong jams and we have an easy call. This is rough. Uh, well, what happens here? So I check all the flop. Okay, you can have six, seven. I lead the turn. I, I mean, he could be shoving six x himself. I'm gonna call this. I'm not gonna afford a six. Yeah, I mean, king six. We gonna call it. Nope. Drawing that. Oh, flipping a set here. Fine to check it back also. We don't want to start betting king eight and clubs or king eight and diamonds, so that's why it makes a lot of sense to also check it back sometimes. Your sets or Queen is okay ish. We call it Good River. We should have always the nuts. Like, Queens checks the flop. Kings probably also going to be slow playing at some point. Okay, that's the setup. Setup for us. Let's go. Going to check race here. Bring him to the button clicking war. Hmm. K 
Okay, yeah, 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 I know it, that was a little bit random, but I already had an autumn and that he does random buffs, so then I like to be a little bit out of line. I'm gonna jam the ace 10 off as well here. Since I only have half a starting stack, they are supposed to call it really, really wide. Check suited here. <laughs> All right, we're running against eight seven, and we're dead. Jacks, we just want to shove here with our bounty. Shove, I know it's shove. Some always, I always say shove, shove. It's easier, shove. Just shove it. It was actually an awkward spot. He raises button cards, small bank cards. So we obviously we don't have any fault equity. If we rejam. Hopefully he's not gonna have 10-9. This would be a little bit of a disaster. You have to call 60k more. What, what are you betting here? Like King 9 Diamonds? Even if you King 9 Diamonds with my bounty gut shot. He's really tanking. Oh, oh. Good turn. I'm hoping for a spade on the river. We have an excellent hand to bluff with. Uh, <sighs> this is terrible. I mean, the problem is he limbs four, five. It really sucks having the queen and spade. He's gonna, he can still have king three, king, but he's gonna jam this pre, right? Uh, should I make an auto line bluff here? He's limping, ace is king, king, king X is jamming pre nine to ten big blinds, so it's like four eight suited, four five suited, 
3-5 suited. I think it's those hands quite often, the way people are playing it. It's out of line, but... I think I can discount a lot of hands the way the hand play. Six improves a lot of my bluffs. Five deuce, five seven. Why is there calls? Let me see. Pocket nines, dude. Oh. Oh. I like my bluff. I really like my bluff, though. Um, because we can really narrow down his range to like a lot of these six five, six seven, six eight type of hands, and, and the occasional eight to nine. So that's gonna be in a in a disastrous spot. I think his bluff catcher is just really really bad, to be honest. Um, I think if he calls four five seated there. Just like third pair, but he blocks some uh, some some two pairs. He doesn't block anything. Like he can still block. I can still bluff with like nine eight, right? Nine eight diamonds, nine eight hearts. These kind of hands on the flop with backdoor straight draws, um, and he blocks all of them, which I would definitely bluff. Like these are going to be my main bluffs, right? Seven nine nine eight suited, uh, some backdoor equity. My five sevens got there, like all my two pairs. I can still shove a 10 for value. So yeah, he's probably just, he just fell in love with his hand. I guess all is gonna be shoving like very, very wide. Aces against Queen 10. Yeah, we have to call. Three way all in. That's what we were hoping. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> we really bust. We really bust chat. <laughs> uh, oh, we're actually still in the money. Okay, okay, okay. That makes things a little easier. Uh, we're all in on the Sunday Harula main event. This guy still calls. Uh, I'm gonna check it to him. I mean, there's not a single card on the turn that I'm not gonna go broke with, even if there's an ace. Yeah, let's put them all in. All right, he calls my all in with Queen Jack. You'll love to see it. Actually, I'm gonna check again. Like, just because there are two aces out there, it shouldn't be. And maybe now he recalls an ace high because he thinks it's good. Oh, he has aces. <laughs> Come on, give me the aces. We both know you have aces. Oh, you don't. Okay.
queen is good, king is good, even spade is good, and we can turn our hands into a bluff. Um, uh, we can't really bluff this anymore. We should have a spade. Uh, I think he's gonna find some hero cards with eights, nines, one spade. He can still have some weak jack eggs, some slow plays. No spade, really. Um, no, probably not too bad. But yeah, when you have the king, it's less likely as ace king. Uh, we call it a flop race. And we face a turn jump where we have all the equity in the world, but we still can't call. Gonna call here. You can still have eights and nines. What, what, what is going on? Is there somewhere a cam? I mean, he's never jamming eights or nines anymore. I think we have to fold. I prefer calling down seven, seven, five, eight, seven suited. Like tens is pretty bad as a bluff catcher. Um, so we don't block any of his value. We don't block aces or kings. So if we have a seven suited or seven, eight suited, we block sevens at least. Um, and his most likely bluffs gonna be hands that block our tens and nines, right? So like uh, ten nine suited, jack ten suited, perhaps blocking jacks. So I think ten like I think he wants to start bluff bluffing with jack ten suited. Um, so I think it, tens is probably pretty bad. <sighs> well, this this is a, a disastrous. 20 minutes, I would say. Just getting wrecked left and right. These are actually the most tilting comments when you post a suck out on, on social media or fun hand or something. Then there's this, you know, this entitled little kitty. Mm, that's how I run every Saturday, every Sunday. And I'm just like, yeah, all right, all right. We know, we know, dude. You have the worst downswing in the world. Uh, yeah, now we got short in the 10k. You see how fast it can go, but I've definitely seen insane spin-ups and with 20 big blinds still everything is possible. And we get race called from 10-9, which is great, of course. We got him dead. Ace-King, Ola defends the big blind. Uh, going to bet this flop. He's gonna call like ace nine diamonds, ace five spades, ace ten spades. I'm also gonna call a check raise with two overs and a backdoor flush draw. Especially when the size, I mean, we've called 27k for 100. Gonna three bit call against Adamo here. I'm gonna call again. Uh, there's still a lot of six fives, ten nines in there. Yeah, great river. Uh, three bet. I check back sevens. Definitely want to be checking back quite a bit on this flop and we're gonna go broke anyway 
I mean, even though there's a, he, he can have some jack tens, of course, or king tens, but he's also gonna have like king queen. He can shove ace jack for value. He can have slow plays with aces. getting frustrating I mean the hand would have played out exactly the same because um, I see bet he called <clears throat> I was about to say six and seven isn't great um improves a lot of his six seven seven four floats uh, eight ten is good jack is good we all in the 10k so even have a gut shot definitely don't want to be bluffing like too high of a frequency here we're bluffing by seven eights and nine eights we get the gem through i think we're running into the big hand there according to his sizing. Uh, that's a great spot to reshuffle here, uh, these low aces. I think if he, he would be open shoving seven sixes quite often, right? Eights kind of hands. So he's gonna have hands like maybe jack eight, that raise. And yeah, we're just gonna reshuffle our ace here button, big blind wrist button. Yeah, okay, Jax is in his range. Ooh. Oh, we got lucky there. You want to be quite polarized here. Yeah, he also has ace check. I'm gonna shove ace five suited here, eleven big blinds. Good luck us. And I'm bluffing Roberto Romanello. He unfortunately has a spade. That's okay. I think we have a mandatory bluff there. So don't be too much stuck on, okay, what is better, yada, yada, yada. Everyone has its own preferences. And saying just because something is better that everyone would do it, or if it would be better, is also not true because uh, Great River here. I hope he has queens. Oh, he flops us almost dead. We defend three dozen diamonds. Decent flop. I think I'm just gonna call. I don't wanna run into um, better diamond draws. Ah, we can still call with a gut shot. Only without gut shot, I would fold. And I really would like to donk jam this one. <laughs> ah.
I mean, he still has like a lot of like 10-9, King-10. It's not that bad, to be honest. I, I think we want to have like, we have all the 6 x in clubs. A6, King-6, I'm calling again with an overcard to the Queen and the Jack, probably. I think it's, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, chat, to lead on this river. Going for it. I'm gonna look it up in Pyro though. It might be a hand I wanna. Because it's really hard for us. Like, we only really have deuce three and seven five in diamonds perceived. I don't know. I find this line really strong. I can't really think of that many hands I would be doing it with. I'm not going to be calling like 7-5 on, on hearts on, on, on the turn against the second bar. But yeah, maybe they don't fold against me. <laughs> but it's an interesting hand. I, I like to take these uh, different lines just to see what works, what doesn't. Still calls me with ace high. You must be shitting me. You must be shitting me. No respect. Uh, this is an annoying spot, but he's still going to be opening all the broadways, 10 big blinds, I think. This is the bottom hand I would go in with here. 26 V pip is not too tight. We're still far away from the money. It's eight handed and nine handed also helps a little bit. Getting the and even e tanks. Tens? Nines? Oh, wow. Ooh, that is a sweet river. You'll have to see the Broadway card once it peels, peels off. Could be a trap with aces. And we have Ace King over here and the 10k in GG as well. We need an ace or a king. Nope, that's it on the WPT Montreal. Uh, here the question is, do we jam, do we raise? I think I still want to raise and use three jams from weaker aces. I still want to try to steal cheaply, not risk my entire stack. It's good to have ace king. When you're in position, you shouldn't be afraid to play in position. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, good luck us. All right, that's a cooler anyway. Ooh, I was about to say the bubbles are pretty brutal to us today. But that helps us a little bit, chat. Yeah, this is gonna be our hand. I mean, we're clearly the shortest stack. Hijack, see the days. Let's go. Um, hello? Okay, now it goes. 
Ó. Split. No. GG. We got 6 for 13k. And we regem the kings. Uh, snap queen's drags. Ace 10 off. On the bubble, on the pay drum. Okay. What? We take it. All in from Anderson. Stevens in the tank. He's calling. Ace Jack against Ace Eight. Ace Jack massively in the lead. Oh, not even backdoors really possible. Oh, but Stevens still with a ton of outs. Any Jack, any ten, any club, and the club is there. GG, Mr. Anderson from Austria, my fellow Austrian citizen. Well played, GG. And we're on the final table.